North Carolina Central and North Carolina A&T, two teams who are looking to win their respected conferences. Last season, North Carolina Central was 6-5, and five, number two in the MEAC. And North Carolina A&T last season was 5-6, and six, third place in the Big South. Now in year 2022, both teams have revamped their rosters and are looking to win in their conferences. September 3rd is going to be a battle of epic proportions. And I'll chime in. good everyone this is raw truth media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need and man i've been excited to talk about this matchup september 3rd north carolina central versus north carolina a t a physical game to be expected last week i decided to do a segment called get to know your opponent today i want to remix it a little bit this segment will be called get to know your opponents with an extra S. I'll be talking about two teams and I'm going to start with North Carolina Central. The head coach of North Carolina Central is Trey Oliver, a up and rising head coach who has a lot of potential and has done well with this young team. Now the young players that they had last season are older, wiser and stronger and the QB position is led by Davis Richard standing at 6'3", 200 pounds some say 205, 210 he's from Florida Davis Richard was named second team all MEAC throwing for 2,133 yards he had 363 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns 6 interceptions so he's pretty efficient. If Davis Richard can increase his completion to 60, I say 62 to 64%, that will make a huge difference for this team. The skill players that will contribute to this offense are Andrew Smith and Devin Smith. Now they're not brothers. <laughs> they're not related. I don't think they are related. They're not cousins, but they have the same last name. Both of them contributed as a freshman. And that's the thing about Trey Oliver. He'll play as freshman. I like that he, he puts an emphasis on high school recruiting. I respect that. Each receiver, Devin Smith, Andrew Smith, had 300 plus yards, a few touchdowns. They expect them to make a big jump. They're now sophomores. They're fast, and if you watch them play against Alcorn, they were doing their thing. So be on the lookout for them. On the defensive side, it's led by Brandon Contrapton. And don't let that 5'9", 170 frame fool you. He's very explosive. He's not just an ace, punt returner, kick returner. When you need the coverage, when you need a shutdown defender, he's your guy. He can play in zone, can play safety. He was named 2021 All-American Team Punt Returner. And he was named the 2021 Field Steel All-MEAC 
special teams, as well as DB. And in the MEAC, he averaged 15 yards per punt. And then in kick returns, he averaged 22.5 yards per average. And his longest kick return was that 77 punt return touchdown that we all saw on TV against Alcorn State. So he's the real deal. And on defensively, he had four pass breakups, 43 tackles, which is a lot for a DB cornerback, had some blocked kicks, forced fumbles, and a couple of interceptions. He's all over the field. He is North Carolina Central's honey badger. Be on the lookout for him. And this is why I have faith in North Carolina Central and having a chance of winning the MEAC. I know that South Carolina State is a talented team, but it's not like they blew out everybody in the MEAC. Let's keep it real. They had that great game against Jackson State, and I know it was talked about because everybody was waiting on JSU to lose. Let's keep it a buck. North Carolina Central is not far off, and watch when the season starts. Now, if they lose to North Carolina A&T, let's not overreact. Maybe it's one of those North Carolina a and team teams that have everything figured out, that have a healthier team, a team ready to go. I'm not going to overreact on game one. I never do that as someone who watches sports. Next up, North Carolina a and led by head coach Sam Washington. If you watch this team, you know that they like to control time of possession. They're defensive-oriented they want the offense to not beat themselves, to not put the defense in a bad position, to control the pace for all four quarters. The quarterback position is led by Jalen Fowler. He's been there for years. He's been there since 2017. He was redshirted that year. And then in year 2021, he started all 10 games where he played and threw for 1,774 yards, 10 touchdowns, eight interceptions. That has to be cleaned up. For North Carolina a and to be the team that we all think they should be, winning the Big South, the quarterback position has to increase the touchdown to interception ratio, decrease the interception ratio, that is. So if he can average 18 touchdowns and only have at least five to six interceptions. North Carolina a and has a chance to lock up that division in the Big South. Now, Campbell will have something to say about that. There'll be another video for a different day. But he threw, meaning Jalen Fowler, 55.7% passes. That has to get just like Davis Richard, that has to be at least low 60s, mid 60s. At the skill positions, North Carolina A&T will depend on the young guys. Remember last year's team, their two leading receivers were seniors. They're going now. And Jamison Warren will be looked upon to step up. Now, as a freshman, he had 24 catches and averaging 12 yards per catch. So he's in the double digit range. Every time he catches a ball, that's a great sign. Now, he did have only 280 yards and one touchdown, but that's pretty good numbers as a freshman. Getting acclimated to D1 football. Anytime you have 200 plus or involved on offense as a receiver, as a freshman, that's a sign of greater things to come. But Jamison Warren will be the go-to guy unless somebody else in training camp steps up. And lastly, on defense, led by linebacker Jacob Roberts. And for those who forget his name, let's go to the past, 2019, where he was a true freshman and won the defensive MVP of the Celebration Bowl. Now fast forward, he's a redshirt junior. Remember, North Carolina a and did not play the 2020 season because of COVID. Look out for number 13. He can cover in space. He can hit with the best of them. And I truly believe he has a chance to be an All-American linebacker this season if everything plays out. But he is the leader. He is the image of what 
Sam Washington wants, Coach Sam Washington that is, wants for his team. He's a tone setter. He's an equivalent of JSU's Aubrey Miller, but on the Big South. But watch out for him uh, in year 2021. Played 11 games, led the team in tackles, 84 tackles. He had four block kicks, intercepted one pass, led the nation in block kicks, that is, which is he's a special teams threat as well as a coverage linebacker. That's what you call a Swiss Army knife. If he could just take his game just another notch, and he already did well in 2021, but he, if he could take it to another notch where he could have 100 plus tackles in a season, look out. But I'm excited for the Mayo Classic, or some will say the Eagle versus Aggie Classic, or the Aggie versus Eagle Classic. Whatever name is called, this is a game that you should tune into. Two respectable coaches trying to get that respect. North Carolina a and is trying to get that respect back to the years when they were winning the damn thing. North Carolina Central feels like they're being disrespected because no one's talking about them in the MEAC. They're just talking about other teams or just South Carolina State. Man, this game is going to be a treat. This is Raw Truth Media. Peace and blessings and I'm out.